Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween cosplay and just being creative as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to create some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today we are recreating the Monster High doll, Elisabeth. This is going to be a fun costume that you can really just use items that you have at home. A lot of this costume I did already have. The boots, the stockings, the mesh top. Like I had a lot of these things already. And the wig. So I really didn't need to buy very much to create this. And I know a lot of us, uh, especially us goth girls, probably have a lot of these things in their closet right now. Also, there's a lot of different options. You can do, there's a werewolf one. I think there's a ghoul one. This one's a bat. There's a Draculaura, which is a, a vampire one. So you have a lot of options. So if you and a few ghoul friends want to get together and go out on the town for Halloween, this would be a great option and very easy to accomplish. Let's get started. This is our costume today, and today we are going to be Elisa Bat from the Monster High doll collection. I'm not sure who makes them, maybe Mattel or another company, but Monster High was very popular in the early 2000s, like 2005 to 2010, but still very popular among the cosplayer community and, of course, for a Halloween costume. It's really fun to do. It's easy. I didn't do any particular outfit for Elizabeth. I just happened to have a purple wig and this one is purple and black. I bought a purple and black skirt and a purple tank top. And then I bought, it's an under stocking. It's like a full body stocking. That's a light, light pale pink color, which is the color of Elizabeth, just so that I wouldn't have to paint my whole body. I'm also gonna be wearing some fishnet stockings over these when i bought this it was kind of funny it's cheap it was cheap it was like eight bucks but it was for a man and it's uh anatomically correct if you will <laughs> but that's okay because that part's going to be under my skirt uh, i have the purple wig and i actually got these bat hairpins they came with my wig for wicked lady so i guess they're from an anime character but they're they were pretty cool and i thought she's a bat you know so why not use them for this costume and of course i have my frankenstein boots and they're perfect for her because that's exactly what they wear is a very high platform shoe but outside of the fishnets which i forgot to put up here that's the whole costume that's the whole costume i might accessorize with a couple things i have around the house but this is something that you can do as long as you have the colors right and the makeup done right everybody's gonna know what you're trying to accomplish Let's get started with our makeup. It's makeup time. We really didn't have anything to make for this costume, create or anything like that. Like I said, it's just items you probably already have in your closet right now. And uh, you can just throw together a Monster High costume very easy. I didn't decide to do the specific costume because that's a waste when I already have so much that could pass for Elizabeth in my closet. You know, so it wouldn't be beneficial economically for me to buy a costume for that when I can already, when I can just use what I have. If you know what I'm saying. I've already glued down my eyebrows and if you didn't watch my Ursula video, I kind of told you how I did that. Um, so if you want to go back and watch the Ursula video, I'm probably going to be doing that off camera from now on because most people already know how to do it. Today, I was going to use a white paint for my face. Elizabeth is kind of like a very fair pink color. Very, very fair. So I'm going to use this really fair Kat Von D that I have to cover at first. And I'm going to probably do a real pinky blush to just add highlight because this is actually already pretty fair, <laughs> especially once I put powder on it. It's, it's really fair. This has been a wild <laughs> couple months and it's been really hard for me to get motivated to do costumes. I took a week off last week from doing costumes. It was just too much at the time. Mother's Day comes and that's already difficult for me. You know, it's hard for me to get into the swing of things because I lost my mom in 2020 and that kind of gets me off my game. 
And then June 4th was the anniversary of my mom's passing. So again, it's like not a good time of year for me. But then I had something really great happen. And I got the job of my dreams at Patrick Manor, which is an assisted living facility. And I'm cooking there and I'm, you know, I have creative freedom and it's amazing. The hours don't suck. And I've, if I'm being honest, I've been pretty obsessed with that. The same week I get this job, my sister passes away. I think that the week after her celebration of life, I did Ursula and then I just had to take a break because so many things happening at once. And then now guess what? There's a hurricane headed our way. So it's just like, it doesn't stop. So I appreciate you for letting me take a little break. I know it's not like y'all were chomping at the bits to see a Halloween video, but we'll get it done. <laughs> it is my, it's my other passion, you know, making these videos and, and making costumes and showing you guys how I do it. It's a passion in life. And if I can do them both and make them work together cohesively, that's really my dream. You know, I'll, I'll have, you know, my day job that I actually get paid to do. <laughs> and I'll be able to still do this. And, and that's what I really want to do. So I'm really hoping not to have to miss any more weeks this year. I just, I had to take a mental break from everything just for a week so so I could get caught up so really I was still working on things <laughs> but I just wasn't giving myself the deadline of having to put out videos for Sunday and, and Wednesday it helped so I'm just putting on my foundation right now and then we'll start with our eyes and work our way down all fair complected I'm going to be touching over that with some pink blush to look kind of pink and fair. And right now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Just kind of like that. Very, they have very thin eyebrows, so I'm gonna try and not go too thick with them. Yeah, so there's been like hurricane chaos and all this stuff going on and I'm just like, good grief. Who's motivated when all this stuff's going on? It's just, I can't get motivated. And then we leave for Branson Friday morning. I have not packed. I haven't done this video yet. I mean, it's supposed to go out tomorrow. I haven't even done it yet. I'm just now getting, you know, starting to film. So <laughs> it's kind of wild and crazy. There's a lot of, there's just so much. Another thing is I don't know what's going on. If it's just been so long since I've been in the kitchen or what, but my feet, when I get off a shift, I feel like my feet are just broken, swollen or something. They, it's so, they hurt so bad. And then I get this awesome foot massager. I ordered it online and it gets to me and the dang thing doesn't work. So I was like all ready to put my feet on it, feet in it. It was right after shift. I plug it in and nothing happens. So what? And I think the thing's got pretty good reviews. It just didn't work for me. <laughs> And I really need it. So my husband's not that great at massage. I decided to just not even mess with the pencil this time because it does me no good. Just use your liquid liner. I went off camera and did my other eyebrow. I'm starting to look like a monster high already. Maybe we should um, go ahead and do our blush. Yeah, let's do a little blush. I want to be able to start seeing the, seeing this come together. I'm going to do a real pink one. That one in the middle. And we're just going to kind of contour with it. But a little more than contour. Because we almost want to be pink ourselves, you know? She's a real light pink color, but also very fair, so... Now I'm gonna have bangs, so my forehead is probably not gonna show very much. I just kinda did that to see how this pink was gonna work. I'd do that part anyway, but the main reason was to make sure this pink was gonna be a good, a good color for this. I'm gonna do both sides of my nose and then around the bottom of my face. We're gonna contour with the pink as well. We're contouring with the pink as well. Probably 
on the sides like that make our our neck look a little thinner that should be pretty good now just a real shimmery it looks like a pink um that i'm going to go around and highlight with that's going to give me a shimmer and very monster high looking here i like the little bit of a shine it gave me sort of like looking like plastic like a doll would be plastic or rubber or whatever they're made out of <laughs> that works now let's start with our eyeshadow i found a couple purples that i really liked uh one was in this palette which is a Elemen zephyr palette you can use whatever you have i'm using a very light purple it's like a light shimmery purple from this palette that i'm going to go up to my brow line with that looks really good I've seen a lot of people online doing the Monster High dolls, and they did kind of what I did. Uh, just used what they had or looked like it. Some got the actual costume, and there is an actual costume. I haven't looked. I'll look it up and see how much that is for you. Like the original outfit of Alyssa Bat, they sell that costume if you wanted to use that. It looks all right. It looks halfway decent, you know, for a store-bought costume. This I only paid about $30 for somewhere around there because I already had a lot of the stuff. So I just bought the skirt, tank top, and the undergarment. <laughs> it's gonna go kind of down towards my eye a little bit. And that should be good. Now it's time to do our purple. And I chose to do the purple out of my Kat Von D Edge of Reality palette. There's a pretty nice purple that contrasts well with this one. So it also has a little bit of shimmer to it. So that's what we're going for. Just going to do that to the other side and we'll get started with our eyeliner. So we have our purple on. The goal here is to make our eyes look a little bit bigger, a little more cartoonish. As you can see, I have the purple contacts in. Oh yeah, I bought that too. So they were only like 20 bucks. They used to be like a hundred bucks and you had to get an eye exam. When I first started doing costumes, that's how much they cost. That you couldn't just get contact lenses. That's nice that that changed. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a line like that. And then there's gonna be another one that's gonna follow my brow line and just go. And we're gonna kind of go out into a wing tip and do the same to the other side. My crooked face does not allow for symmetry, but I do the best I can. Let's just be real. <laughs> it is what it is. I gotta do what I gotta do, so. Now we gotta do winged liner and we're going to get real dramatic with the winged liner because we want drama for this one. We're gonna make our eyes look big. So now we're gonna do our winged liner and we're just gonna meet up with that line we made. It's gonna be a good guide for us. I've been doing winged liner since middle school and I really don't have a rhyme or reason. I just get it done. <laughs> But if you have a guide like that, it makes it easier. There it is. Let's do the other one. Now I'm going to bring this line down a little bit. This one here we made just about like that. And same to the other eye. You're going to be going down your nose a little bit with that. Once you have your two lines, we're going to follow that and just go all the way across our bottom, the bottom of our eye. Just like that. And we're going to do the same to our other eye. Now, guess what? We're going to color in that line with white to make our eyes look bigger such a cool effect and it really does 
trying to make your eyes look bigger. Obviously, we don't have big doll eyes, so if you can make them look bigger, that would definitely that definitely adds to the allure of your costume. I'm using a Ben Nye cream pencil for this. I like it because uh, it's big fat, it lasts forever, and it's good makeup. Ugh. But you can use any pencil you have. If I'm not mistaken, the Wet n Wild products aren't bad as far as their pencils, their liners and stuff, and they're actually pretty cheap. And they have a lot of different colors to choose from as well. I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's either them or it's that NYC. Is it NYC, I think? That brand. Now that we've filled in the bottom, we're just going to go across the corner of our eye and just about to the middle with this darker purple color. I'm just trying to meet up the ends here. Just going right to about the center. Ooh, I got some on my nose. Looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Now, I was contemplating wearing real fangs and she's a doll. I want to look as doll-like as possible so I decided I'm going to draw on my fangs. If you do this and for all of it really just get your final seal and also you know you're gonna be you're gonna have a purse or something carry around the lipstick you're gonna be wearing and your white pencil to touch up you know, if you need to, if you do draw on your fangs. Um, if not, I recommend, if you're going to get fangs, the Scarecrow brand, these are the best fangs you can get. They give you a thing, they form to your own teeth and you can wear them for years. I only just recently got rid of a pair that I had for like 10 years and I got new ones, but this is a really good brand and they just fit right on to your actual teeth your incisors I think it is they're long lasting so for my lips do <laughs> off camera I'm gonna do some mascara black mascara and put my eyelashes on so I'll do that in a in a bit here after we get our lips done now we're gonna do our lips I have a sharpened black pencil here that's getting really short it's almost time for another one hopefully hopefully it works for me today I'm going a fair amount above my natural lip. I'm not too concerned with the line being super thin because I'm gonna be smudging it a little bit and putting a purple lipstick on the inside. And then we've got to, of course, do our fangs. So I'm gonna try and, and draw those before I color everything in. There's actually pictures that looks like she's wearing black lipstick and then in some of them, she looks like she's wearing purple, but she's a purple doll, so for the most part, purple and black. There it is. So I'm gonna do that with this black liquid liner on the bottom lip. I actually want that a little wider. You can also use permanent marker for this. A Sharpie would work really good and it would probably stay on all night. I've told you I use Sharpies all the time so I'm just gonna let that dry. And I actually have three sheets of purple here. This one's good. It's all melted naturally. I think once I put the wig on and everything it's gonna look awesome. I'm just smudging the black a little bit. I'm just gonna go in there and paint my fangs on. They're a little messy. I'm just gonna fix that with the black. See how easy you can fix it? Now I'm just kind of going out into a bit of a smile line. I think we did pretty good. I just need to put on my eyelashes. I'm gonna do that off camera. I'm gonna put a little spray on my lips to seal that on. I put my eyelashes on and everything looks good. There's just a couple more things that I wanted to do real quick before we put our costume on. And that is this. I'm gonna add a little black shadow right in underneath 
our line here, kind of in a line. Just go in a line. Just some things I noticed while I was putting my eyelashes on. I'm like, it needs this and this. <laughs> so we're gonna do this real quick. And to the other side. So this is just a black, kind of a black shimmery shadow. Gives it a little contrast there. A little bit of nose action. Just outlining just the Gonna clean those lines up a little bit. Now we're talking. Let's go get our costume on and take some photos. All dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Again, this is a fun costume you can do with all your ghoul friends. There's all kinds of different ones to choose from, different colors. If you have a favorite color, whether it's pink, purple, blue, yellow, they probably have all those different colors and different kinds of uh, creepy high school doll characters. If you love today's episode, there's gonna be many more coming up. It is getting closer and closer to Halloween. So please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video as it will help me to continue to create new content for the channel. That does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.